Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we are just going to be revisiting object pores. So a while ago I did this vase candy jar dish thing. <laughs> Not quite sure what it was, but I did the little sea turtles on it and I absolutely loved the way it came out. Now this is something that I am go probably going to put up onto my Etsy here soon. So if you guys are interested in this. But I wanted to revisit this. I'll put the link for this video down below. And I wanted to do these little tiny jars. So I already have one with the letter already placed on it. As you can see, it's an S. And just like the Easter tiles, we're going to be putting at least three layers of tape onto our jars. And then for all six of them, well, seven all together, I'm gonna be doing the word summer. And then I'm thinking the seventh one of doing maybe a little palm tree or something. But I wanted to do something fun and bright especially for summer coming up. Now, these are the objects, other than the paint, that you're going to be needing, starting with jars to paint pour on, your tape, your painter's tape, your Sharpie, or some kind of writing utensil to mark the tape. Then, very carefully, you're gonna to wanna to use an X-Acto knife or a box cutter, or have somebody with steady hands do it for you, and come in and just cut out the letter, just leaving the letter on there. And then the last thing coming back is the Frog Tape Liquid Paint Block. It is a sealer, so once we have that on, we are gonna come in with the paint block, paint over all the tape, let that completely dry, and what that does is it seals all around the tape, preventing any paint from seeping under. And then we can come in and we can do our paint pours onto our little jars. So I will see you guys in a second. Let me get some of this cleared away and start putting down the tape for our letters. All right, everyone, one other quick tip. If you don't want to use any kind of box cutter or any sharp knife applying it that way, you can always come with parchment paper, apply a couple layers of tape onto parchment paper doing three on each one, so. And then the general size is going to be about here. So then all you have to do is come in with your Sharpie, using my reference guide. And so we don't waste tape, we're going to do the M. That was one M. Now let's cut them out. Trying to keep it on the parchment paper so it doesn't dry out the adhesive on the back. So now that I have one of my M's, I come over, take one of our things, remove the backing, and I can place it where I want onto the glass. So that is another option. So I'm gonna get the the other M, the E, the R, and our little shape done, and I will be right back. All right, so now that I have them all set up, and they all have their letters accordingly. And then this is the little pattern I decided to go with. Little palm trees, kind of like a little wave thing going on below. I thought it would be cute. Now we're going to come in with the frog tape liquid paint block, edge sealer, and a paintbrush. And we're just going to paint right over. This will dry clear. Anybody wondering? But when applying it, you want to come in and you want to pull 
over the edge. If you don't want to pull it away, you want to pull it over. You want to make sure that you're creating a little bit of a seal around each piece. So when that dries, we don't have to worry about any paint getting under there. They're dry, we'll be back, and I'll set up to do our actual paint pour onto them. Okay everyone, so I got the colors all picked out, I got our cups ready, and I got all of our jars placed on little cups so it'll drip down. And hopefully, hopefully this works. <laughs> Just trying to find something to separate it. I also have a canvas down below to catch all the extra paint, so we'll have a painting to do afterwards. I'm actually going to switch one of these out because I want to do a little bit of a ring pour. So I'm just going to use these little silicone cups from Monica Tiamoni. Gloves on. And we can go for the colors. So to start off with, I want to throw in two darker colors just for the contrast. And that's going to be the Sherman Williams Dark Knight and the Deco Art Dark Patina. For the lighter color and the cell color, I'm going to be using Titanium White from Lucas Krill. Then jumping in, Lucas Krill Fluorescent Blue, Color Shift Aqua. You can't have summer without aqua. Number. Then we have Color Shift Yellow Flash and Sherman Williams Center Stage. Soho Cat Yellow Light and Sherman Williams Naval Orange. Golden Interference Violet, and Premier Purple Red. So bright, happy, cheerful colors all around. Let me spray our two larger cups real quick. All right, so I wanna start off with the Lucas Krill. And we're gonna do the same layering in all four cups. Jumping right in, I'm gonna use the Dark Patina. And then the aqua, and I'm just going to go along that line of cool to warm. side a little bit so I can center the canvas and I do have cardboard underneath to help support the weight on top of here and let's get started Gotta move these cups off over onto the side and we'll show them afterwards. And bright and happy just the way I wanted them. You can kind of get an idea of what the sides are gonna look like just by looking at the canvas. And I'm just going to fill in some of these spots real quick with little tiny ring pores. I'll be right back. All right, just had to clean my gloves off, but ah, loving this. I don't think much is draining into these. Yeah, not much is coming out, but really pretty inside. Now let's get tilting. I like it like that. So, let me try to bring you guys down for a close-up, and then you guys can see the little vases from the side. 
and get a better f idea of what's going on with them. All right, so starting off, we'll go from the right. These colors definitely remind me more of like flora, very flower and plant based, but look at that. Look how pretty that is. But we'll be back. So you guys will get to see these dry and I'll possibly throw in a little tea light candles into each one of them so you can see what they look like all lit up. Alright, welcome back. So I got them all off their cups, they're all completely dry. I started by removing the tape from the very first one. So we have our little palm tree design going on, but loving the colors. But what we're doing now is we're gonna come in, you can see the lettering and everything else. We're gonna come in and we're gonna remove all the tape. Then we're gonna spray all of our jars down with the Duplicolor acrylic um, enamel. It's a clear coat for engines and everything, but I love the finish of it. It's it super durable. And once it's completely done, then we can come in using our paint pens and we'll add the final details, like cleaning up the rim and coming around each design and adding just a little bit of a border, like what we did on the sea turtles. Just added that little black border. It just kind of gives it a, a cleaner look. So I'm going to start with the R. Now there's different things you can do. I like to come in using, it's like a cheap pick that I got from the Dollar Tree for, it's over in the dental hygiene area, but it works so nicely to come and just outline. Now that we have that much done, the reason I, I like these little picks is because you can come in, get right underneath where the tape and the glasses, come on focus, here we go. Yeah, you can get right underneath where that is to start to pull it up. Then from there, you just remove the tape. Just like that. Oh, there we are, all nice and clean. We got our R. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these real quick, and then we're gonna get them back onto their cups so we can spray them down with that duplicate color. All right, so we have those all set. All of the letters are cut out and ready to go. I wanted to show you guys the painting real quick. Let me zoom out. Because I love the colors. It's not completely dry. There's still like a little wet spot here in the center, but vivid, bright, happy colors. And my spots are drying as they were. Sorry, always a happy, exciting moment. Now that we have these all cut out, since I can't spray over oil-based markers. I have to spray first and then go over when they're dry with the oil-based markers. Yeah, let's get these flipped over, spray down, and we'll be back when they are dry so we can do our final touches. There we go. I'm gonna get these into a box, head outside, spray them down, let them dry, and I will be back. All right, so it's been quite some time. They all seem pretty dry. They have that nice gloss finish to them. So all we're gonna do now is come in with our paint pens. We're gonna add a little bit of detail to each one. And I'm gonna go throw some tea lights in them and light them up so you guys can see them finished. But yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna start with the S. So just like that. Nice thin black line. And we're gonna do that to all the letters. I'll be right back. All right, so now that we have all the line art done on them, I'm just gonna go around on the top rim. We're gonna use our crink in white. All right, so we have all the rims painted white. I got our painter's tape out. Now we're just gonna come in, 
I'm gonna do the R. So you wanna get a piece of tape, roughly about the size of the letter you're doing. It's about that size. And then you're just gonna come in and place it right over. You guys, there it is. You see the R shining through the tape. And you wanna make sure that it's firmly pressed against the glass prior to coming in with your spray paint. Whatever color you guys wanna do, I'm going to stick with that same gold that I used for this one. And that one is, there we go. Iron lac lac. But yeah, so now that I have that section taped off, I'm gonna go outside, spray down the inside of this, and do it to all seven of these. And then and then, when it's all fully set and dry, I'll come in, take off the tape, put in the tea light candles for you, and show you guys the finished result. Oh, uh, no more steps, I promise. No more. I'm already loving what we have going on here, loving the colors, love the little pops of pinks and oranges and reds. So, let me get these taped up, sprayed down, and I'll be back. Okay, so they're all sprayed down, and I ended up changing one little thing, because I messed up on one of them. It got gold over the weight, and then I was trying to clean up the gold spray paint was mixing with the oil-based weight paint marker, and they started to, like, marble, and it looked really, really cool, so I left it. And it now looks like... If you ever go to Greece and you look at some of their old statues, that have gold on them or like a metallic but it has like that marbleized or it's like antique and so it was like that's really cool so i left it and i ended up doing it on all of them something to come in and we gotta remove our tape but that's all i did was remove the tape and now we have that really pretty metallic shine inside yay okay so let me finish all of these and I will be back and we will reveal our little candles with the little tea lights in them. So I'll see you then. I love the way they came out. Loving the colors. I love the way that painting came out in the background. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys like this kind of stuff and want to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button in the bottom right. And to everybody who's already subscribed, I love you guys. You are amazing. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!